everyone. Hello, everyone. Oh, I feel like again. we're sitting right in the computer. Again. There we go. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm really Sorry. challenged with the. <laughs> I'm really challenged when it comes to trying to fit a spoon in. Mommy's got a really tall. Oh gosh. Here. So I fit into the screen. Hi everyone. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> happy Thursday. Oh, happy Thursday. Oh, yes. Happy. Welcome to week three. Um, this week we are talking about authentic branding and really just breaking out of the cookie cutter system uh, so that you can just be yourself and share who you are as opposed to trying to be someone else and, you know, share as someone else would share. Uh, so we kind of wanted to start out just telling you a little bit of a rundown on our experience starting out. Um, I know for me, I had come from a very different background of like, management corporate banking and then just went stuff it and decided I wanted to follow my dream in health and fitness and I started doing my holistic health coaching course through IIN which was amazing um, but they didn't quite give you a lot of business um, knowledge and I thought I should be right because I'd managed places before but managing somewhere that gives you a book on how to do it and doing it yourself are two different things. So I felt really lost at the start trying to work out how to get clients, um, you know, what I was supposed to do in the back end of my business and also what image I needed to be to get the clients. And back then I was still dealing with, um, I was very much in the depths of my postnatal depression. So I was not feeling my lovely self anyway. And I was studying to be a health coach. So I was like, I don't feel like I look like I'm supposed to. So I was always conflicted. So I started looking at other health coaches. For one, it started giving me really bad comparison mm. kind of stuff. Um, and also I started just like copying what they were doing because I was like, oh, that's working for them. So I'm just going to copy what they're doing I did you know the smoothie pictures yeah. and although I love smoothies I said this on my page the other day I love drinking smoothies and I very much did love it but I probably went a bit too hard with it and I just started really copying what the people who I loved and respected were doing um, and what I found was I was attracting the wrong people um, not people who really were aligned with me and also, I couldn't keep it up because it wasn't who I was. So, so that's sort of my my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I totally relate. <clears throat> I I had a business background, <clears throat> and then oh, I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Frog, frog. I'm in my throat. <laughs> yeah, so I came from a business background, and I knew all the systems and how to do it. You know, it was kind of like on autopilot. And then I decided I wanted to step into natural therapy, so I studied kinesiology and nutrition. And I had no idea on how to run a business at all. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So I just started to copy what other people were doing that were in my same industry. Like you said, you get that whole comparison thing yeah. and I'm not good enough and they're doing a better job than me. And it's just awful. And it really, I think it really holds you back and stifles your energy and yeah it was just awful so and then I was in some MLM as well and they have their own cookie cutter oh, system yeah. oh gosh and <laughs> don't get us started uh, on that you subject just, I just see it so <laughs> clearly now they have like their little layout of what you do mm -hmm. and if you follow it you'll be successful as the person at the top but you know I just found it never ever mm -hmm. worked that way because it wasn't coming from me I was following a system from somebody else that had created it and they were the fit ones getting successful. So, yeah, I just found that when I started just being me, I think I just had a breakdown over it and I was like, I just can't do this anymore. And then I just started being myself and showing others myself and just sharing my content and my message from my heart. And then I just started to attract people and they were loving what I was sharing and then it just got word of mouth and that's how I grew my business. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And I I think a lot of us have had a very similar story and maybe you yeah. are, depending on your journey, you might still be at the very start of that yeah. 
still trying to find your way or maybe like us you've done it for a few years and you've been like trying to work it out and I'm definitely not saying that I know clear cut how it all works still I'm still learning about myself so but I think the thing is now I'm happy to take my tribe on the journey with me about who I truly am and that's really the point that we want you to get to is trusting and believing in who you are enough to know that you are enough your tribe are going to love who you are and what you're putting out and they're going to resonate with you you're going to resonate with them I don't know if you've had a worked with a really a client that's not aligned with you but it's not pleasant (laughs) not at all and that's it when you come from your authentic message and you're just being your authentic self you will naturally attract the right people into your business that are meant to work with you. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're feeling um, really down and out and you've been comparing yourself to other professionals on social media that you're following, my advice is just to stop following them. Yes. (laughs) Right, so that you can get your self-worth back again and just start connecting into your your true message of what you're here to share. Everyone's got a message to share. You've got a message to share and it comes from here. And so just start to yeah, just switch off from anybody else and just start to yeah. come back in. And that goes for groups too. And I know mm. we won't mention names, but Kerry and I were part of a group um, a few years ago, which is how we met. But I wasn't really aligned in the end to some of the things that were happening. Mm. And, and I know a lot of our beautiful community that we had were yeah. feeling the same. So whatever's not feeling good for yes. you, if your business is based online, you want to be surrounding yourself with other people who, for one, know what you're going through, um, love who you are, and really can support you in that um, journey. Mm -hmm. And what I was finding, you will know yourself that some groups are just a bit different. Some are all business, some are all money. Whereas we're kind of more of a blend of, you know, we like to come from soul yeah, and and really work uh, in that sense. So if, like Carrie said, if there's someone that you're following that's um, it, you're comparing yourself too yeah. much or if you're in a group where there's too much noise and it's just too not, you know, aligning with you, then just free yourself from that yeah. stuff. and just, Yeah, don't go in there. Yeah. Switch it off. Get off social media for a while except for us. Yeah. Of <laughs> yeah. But yeah, take, I've had to do it multiple times where I've taken myself off because I just get into a space of needing to follow other people and then it just brings me down. So I'll just click off and then just get back into my own space again. Yeah, absolutely. Just becoming aware. Yeah. Mm. So when, when we talk about your brand, um, it's really about being sort of true and authentic to yourself. Mm. And I want to just give you a few examples of people who are true and authentic to themselves and who've made massive brands by just doing that. So we obviously know Oprah and Oprah probably, I mean, she used to be an actress um, and then she had her TV show, but Oprah also had some very specific values that she really stood by and she made her name and people people either loved her or hated Mm. her, I guess, in a sense. And a lot of these people who I'm going to give you examples for are the same. So Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, she's obviously made her name. She was the first amazing woman to come out on TV, I'm pretty sure. Um, she is who she is. You love her or hate her. Yeah. Um, Kerry reminded me yeah. of Constance Hall before, who is freaking amazing. Yeah, I love it, but yeah. I can see that if you're not resonating with her message, you're not going to like her. Yep. She, but she exactly. represent her all the time, isn't yep. she? And she talks up. real. Yeah. So we love her. Yeah. But I can see, and I have heard from people before who, who don't love her. Yeah. And but, they're, but they're not her people. Exactly. They're not her, her exactly. Tribe, so so yeah. this is where we need to toughen up. And this, this is the part that took me a long time because people please are always trying to make people happy. We're yeah. not always going to make people happy. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, the people who you want in your life and in your business are either going to love, love, love you or they're just not going to resonate with you. And that's totally fine because you only 
you know, you just want those people who are totally into you. Yeah. And with these people <clears throat> that we mentioned, if they, if you love them, like I know Constance, she bought out a book, bought it. Yeah. Any, like if they bring out a product or mm. anything, do anything. I'm watching it. I'm, I'm soaking it up. I want to know about it. Yeah. And, and that's you when you are sitting in your authentic self and building your brand that is what your tribe will want to do as well that's right just creates that energetic alignment yeah yeah and the other thing is we we think and we want to help everybody yes don't we but when you get really clear on what your message is and who you truly really want to actually serve then it will become narrower and more clear and yeah yeah, easier to attract the right people as well exactly and <clears throat> like we were talking, we've talked about in the last few weeks, knowing knowing who you're serving and, and what you mm -hmm. stand for and things like that, your content's just going to flow then yeah. because you're not trying to make something based on someone else or what someone else is doing. It's just flowing. It's just yeah. words. I know a lot of my posts are just me, my thoughts, basically, thoughts about life and about this and about that. And I know I get private messages all the time, people who really love them. Yeah. I've actually had messages from close friends at the time who don't like them and that's fine. They, I've asked them that if they didn't like to unfollow in a nice yeah. way. Yeah. But but your people will love what they love and if they don't, then that's cool. That's but everyone's right. got their own opinion. That's right, own. exactly. People are going to have an opinion no matter what you're doing. So I, I say just show up as yourself. And spread your message, your authentic message from your heart and your soul. Yeah. Mm. And by doing that, it's the yeah. old thing. I know that we learnt this in the bank. It's the know, like, and trust. Mm. You know, they people people want to know you. And then once they know you and they get to like you, then they really trust you. Yeah. So that is when, you know, you're putting out services or products and they're like, oh, I, I, really, I really believe in in you know what Carrie's doing and so of course of course I'm gonna like go and book a service with her yeah. and and then it's that sort of thing that runs on to people word of mouth and yeah. things like that and people getting to know and, and trust you that's right I think it builds a lot quicker than when you're trying to follow somebody else's system absolutely yeah, yeah. so just be yourself do, do, you know, work out what are the things in your life that really matter to you. And we want to, we've got this sort of little, just a couple of questions that we want you to think about. And please feel free to write in the comments, yeah. um, either if you're watching now, I can't really see, but <laughs> either if you're watching now, if you're watching the replay, um, just put hashtag replay and just, you know, put your answer to the, put your answers in there. Um, but what I really want you to think about is what you are a stand for in this world. Hello, who has just joined us? Hello. Um, so this was a hard one for me when I first heard this question because I was like, well, what do I stand for? I don't know. I don't know what I stand for. But I know now, I know that I am a massive, you know, nature person. I stand for in being environmentally friendly, um, peace and love in the world mm -hmm. like I know that you know those things that I stand for and spreading happiness and um, really just finding your life's journey they're the things that I'm sort of a stand for and the things that drive me are my son so I want you to think about you know well, not just my son I should be more specific my son and creating a better life for my mm -hmm. son so I want you to think about the things that you stand for in life. Like what is it that is just a not negotiable, this is me, um, this is what I stand for. So I want you to think about that and maybe just write down like a couple of things there. Yeah, and my, my question was what makes you different? Like what makes, what is your unique gift? What makes you stand out from all the different people? So if you're following other people and you want to be like them, you're not gonna you're not gonna have the same gifts as them anyway, because we're all here with our own unique gifts. So think about what is it that makes you unique, what is it that makes you different to other people and what is it that you've got to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
Because all of those things are what make you unique. Absolutely, definitely, and we're not all the same. Yeah, and I think that's that's a probably a good point to think about. We we kind of get brought up to fit in. Mm. We get mm. brought up to. I know when I was a kid, it was like, oh, don't do that. Don't. Well, I don't want anyone yeah. looking at you. Yeah. Don't, don't do anything out of ordinary or weird or anything like that to draw attention to you. Yeah. Um, but when you think about your business, you want that. You want right. to be unique. You want to draw attention yeah, to yourself. You want to stand out from the crowd. We were yeah. just having a chat about uh, our own services that we, we do, like our coaching and things like that. And I guess since we've been doing the coaching, there's a lot of other coaches out there. Mm-hmm. And it can, even for us, um, be a little bit overwhelming mm. but it's like we have to keep knowing and believing that we are unique and yeah. we we are unique with what we offer yeah. in that sense but you have to keep trying to be unique which is just being you yeah. as opposed to if you're just going to fit into what everyone else is doing then you're just another coach yeah you're just another someone else yeah that's right gives it a different spin on the business and your business is a reflection of you. Like your business is an energetic connection to you. It is a part of you. Yeah. So that's what makes your business different when you can tap into who you are. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So really have a have a really good think about those things. Like mm. what is it that you really want to connect with your tribe? Like what is it that you stand for? What is it that makes you different? And once you sort of have those things, yeah. it will really help you start connecting the dots to um, your content, how you can mm-hmm. attract your vibe, uh, your tribe, <laughs> yeah. um, have your vibe and attract your um, tribe. Yeah. Um, but really start thinking about those things. And then uh, what we're going to briefly touch on is just a little bit about where you're finding these people. So obviously mm-hmm. you are now being yourself, you're your true authentic self. Um, you know who the people are you want to attract in and so where are you going to find them so towards the end of the week I'm actually going to do a um, little class on the different social media platforms but I'll do a little brief one with you now depending on who your clients are really depends and what you are stand for and who you want to attract really depends on where you're going to hang out so um, I just discovered yesterday that I had LinkedIn dead, wasn't working, well, was there hanging out, not doing anything. But in fact, there's a lot of my, um, our clients on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn's a great place for corporate people, um, but also people like ourselves who are self-employed and trying to connect with other people in business. So have a think about who your client is and who you want to attract based on who you are and where you feel comfortable and then start building your presence on these platforms. Um, So I know we've just started with um, Clubhouse uh, and the more I find out about that, uh, the more awesome I think it is because it's a great place for us to have a chat um, and invite other people in who we may not get to connect with. And there's lots of different people from all different um I guess modalities and specialties on there so it's a great place to connect um Instagram we were just saying before is great but if you're like me I just go tap 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 and then I'm like oh crap I didn't even mean to tap that (laughs) (laughs) um so it's sort of more of a visual thing so if you have a product Instagram's amazing um If you're an amazing photographer or you have really good photos and things like that, Instagram can be amazing for you. Um, But a lot of us find, I think, Facebook is probably the best at this stage. Don't tell them we said that, though. Um, (laughs) You can repurpose your content across the different platforms anyway. So I remember... Um, I was taught just to really focus on just one platform. But I personally think my people are everywhere. They're not just on Facebook. They are on Instagram and they'll be hanging out in Clubhouse and LinkedIn and and YouTube. So I think to repurpose your content across the different platforms, it doesn't take much more time to 
no. to share on those other spaces. Yeah. And then you're getting a bigger, broader reach as well as your ideal client. Yeah. And definitely when you're starting out, we totally understand. Start with one. Yeah. Start with yeah. one, get to know it. Master it. Um, mm. But it won't take you long. They're, no. they're pretty pretty basic to, to get yeah. started with. And then once you feel comfortable, then, you know, investigate yeah, the add others. one at a time. That's yeah. what I did. I just added one at a time. And now I have, well, I don't even have all of them just yet, but yeah, definitely try and mold, you know, like cross my yeah. message across. Well, it's just really, um, I've been doing another training. Um, we've been looking at this mm. other training at the moment um, on memberships and stuff. And the lady was saying yesterday, she has a few different platforms and she basically, she sort of liked it to a fish pond. So you're kind of getting the different platforms. You've got different um, parts of your tribe, basically. And it's just another touch point for you to... Um, you know, get seen and, and I guess potentially catch your clients. Mm. But the good thing is that you don't need to create a new piece of content for all of them. Yeah. You can really repurpose stuff. And, I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's something that Kerry and I can help you with. Yeah. If you are creating – I've met so many ladies who have a crap load of content. They've been blogging for years, but they have never – posted their blogs on their social media and that yeah. is such a mm -hmm. that is that that's probably the best place to do it yeah. because the more coverage you're getting for the blog the more coverage you're getting to your website the more that your website's going to be seen in the google yeah. search so um repurposing your content so even sharing your links from youtube if you've yes. done a youtube video sharing the link into your other yeah. platforms facebook yeah facebook. i've heard that facebook um, so Facebook, hopefully they're not listening to us right now, but they can be, Facebook are trying to obviously monopoly the whole thing. Facebook blog. Yes. So they, um, sometimes when you put external links, I've heard this about YouTube, they don't give it as much coverage. But I was watching um, an interview with a, an influencer the other day and he was saying, who cares? Mm. Because the two or three people that will get to see it, that will get to watch it and will go back to your channel and like your channel, yeah. that's all that you need. And if they like it, they might share it onto your, their friends as well. And I know that I have specifically a couple of people that I will deliberately just go to their page because I don't want to be scrolling through Facebook or spend too much time on there. Yeah. But I have some people that I love. And so I will specifically go to their page. So I'm always seeing their content. Yeah. So, you know... Yeah, and if I like something, I'll just share it to my page for others to see. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So definitely don't miss that opportunity no. to repurpose your content. Yeah. Um, and, and it can be anything. These amazing videos that we're making for mm. you now, these lives, you can download them. We've been uploading them to our YouTube channel. Um, yeah. You know, we've been repurposing some of them in our paid membership for our exclusive members because it's all – amazing training that's going to come in handy yeah. um, for our beautiful members. So definitely uh, remember the power of repurposing. And mm -hmm. as I said, Kerry and I can help you with that as yeah, well. That's sure. part of the stuff we do when we do the business consults with you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, think yeah I, think that's, I think that's pretty I much guess, it. Yeah, the basic, the basic message is don't follow the cookie cut si cutter systems out there. Just speak from your heart and your soul. Share your message from here. That's where it comes from. Yeah. That's where your worth is yeah. in this world. Absolutely. You know, and then that energy that you're sharing will attract your right people. Yeah. Because when you're sharing from somebody else's system, you'll feel it. It doesn't feel, I don't know, when I used to do the MLM stuff, it always felt icky and yucky, but I did it because that's what I was told I had to do. And realistically, I was creating blocks yeah. for myself because I had resistance around it because it didn't feel right yeah. in the different things that I was doing. And so I was blocking myself anyway. Yeah. And so it was never going to work. Yeah, absolutely. But, yeah. Um, and just a lead on to, well, a sort of lead on from what Judy did the other day, but if you haven't had a chance to, please watch Judy's live from Saturday um, where she talks about being your authentic self, your brave, bold and bad badass self. <laughs> 
Um, but Judy's amazing. Judy's um, had a lot of uh, amazing women <clears throat> go into her program and I've seen the difference with their posting and, and how they start stepping into their true self. So um, that's what Judy does. She helps people sort of start becoming their true authentic self um, to start putting that out there to the world. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. So the questions. Mm -hmm. Write them down. Get a pen and paper. Yep. And um, definitely put them in the comments and let us know how you go. Yeah, we'd love to hear what they are <clears throat> for sure. Next week we have our last week, which is setting intentions, and we're doing a little cacao ceremony. So if you have cacao at home, it would mm. be amazing. Um, if you don't, just bring a nice tea or something yeah. with you. Um, it will really just be um, a small ceremony at the start to sort of clear the energy and, and to get yourself ready to set your new intentions uh, for the rest of the year. Yes. And, mm. yeah. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Yes. Um, and also, please feel free to invite any of your amazing health entrepreneur, female health entrepreneur yeah. friends um, to our group because as you've probably noticed we have a lot of amazing stuff coming in this group and we want to share it with as many people as possible um, we're doing sort of our stuff in the back end trying to to build the group as well but if you have any friend who you think that would really mm -hmm. align and resonate with the group please feel free to, to yeah. bring them in yeah awesome cool cool all right guys <laughs> have an amazing day all right we'll see you soon